Hello people of the world, welcome to today's episode of Coffee Chats with Jax. Last weekend I had the opportunity to go hear my favorite writer speaker in the world, Glennon Doyle in Indianapolis at a Together Live event. It was probably one of the most inspiring things that I have heard all year. You see, there's something about Glennon Doyle that I admire more than I have words for. It's this way that she is so honest and not afraid even a little bit to look inward and to explore that truth and to put that truth on the table no matter what anyone else thinks, no matter how vulnerable other people are getting, she explores the truth because that's all that really matters. Without the truth, what are we doing? She's who I learned the concept of sending our representative in to convince the world we're okay when inside we're crumbling and dying. If you haven't heard of her or read her book, please just stop this video and go read Love Warrior right now. She just put out a second one for pre-order called Untamed that I am so excited it's gonna be like Christmas Eve until that book comes out. Something that she said in this speech really stuck with me because it's something that I've thought a lot about regarding my faith journey, my sexuality journey, just my life. She said that there was this moment when her daughter was looking at herself in the mirror and then looked at Glenn and her mom and was like, Mom, can I cut my hair like yours? A little backstory here, Glennon was in a marriage that she was really miserable in one where the man had told her that he had been unfaithful to her the whole entire marriage. Very long story, it's what her book's about, that's not my point to tell you that story, but she realized in that moment of her daughter looking at her wanting to copy her hairstyle that she was staying in this marriage for her daughter's sake. But would she want that marriage for her daughter? And that's when she realized that she is a model for her daughter. She's not trying to hide truth and hide pain and hide tough things from her children, but she needs to show them how to work through it, how to know who we are, how to stand up for ourselves. In a sense, it's almost like she was saying, hey, I want to be my full self. I want to live a full life because I want you to see me live this full life so that you know the right path to go. So that someday you don't remember what your mom did about staying in this really terrible marriage and you stay in a really terrible marriage. And instead she showed her how to live free. And that really got to me because it made me think about how much as little girls we look at our moms. We watch what our moms do. We watch the older women around us and we copy them. Like if we hear a older woman as we're a child talk about their weight, talk about diets, and look at themselves in the mirror and complain about their thighs or complain about their stomach, as little girls we learn that that's what women do. That's how you be a woman. Even if it's like subconsciously we grow up under that same idea of oh I hate my thighs, oh I need to go on this diet. Just as if like a mom is in a really bad marriage and the husband treats her like crap and she has to like submit and do whatever he says because he's the husband, a little girl's gonna look up to that and think that that's how marriage works. Let's say this mother, Glennon, decided that she wanted to stop trying to fit into the world's expectations and started just trying to live as herself, learn what she wanted because that's what she wanted for her daughter, that's a whole new ballgame. I'm not a mom, but all I know is that I have been a little girl before and I know what it's like to look up and see the women in my life talk poorly about themselves or not stand up for themselves or kind of trying to fit into this box of being like a proper woman. Because especially like in Christian culture, the woman, like the highest praise that a woman can receive is being selfless. And when you think about that, that means not having a self. That is really, really, really sad. There's something that happens when we just start to love who we are enough to stop sacrificing what we want and who we are to fit into this weird expectation that the world has on us. Whether that's in faith, whether that's in sexuality, whether that's in family, we get to start looking inward. We get to start living free. If we want to be loud, women get to be loud. You see, I think women need to start reevaluating what the word ladylike means or what a godly woman, oh that triggers so many things for me, what that means. What does it mean to you? Because I don't think it means the whole like calm, peaceful, not angry ever, behind the scenes and submissive to the husband. Like I just, I'm, excuse my language, but that's a bunch of bullshit. It just is. Women are powerful, women are really strong, and there's nothing more admirable to me than like a really strong, bold woman who knows what she wants and does what she needs to do to get it. Like a woman that can take care of herself, that doesn't betray herself in order to fit into some standards of Christianity or some standards of a marriage or whatnot. Like little girls need that to look up to. Little girls need to see their mother look themselves in the mirror and love what they see so that a little girl will look at herself in the mirror and love what she sees as well. That's when we start to get some shit done. That's how we start to change the world. I have a lot more thoughts on this topic as per usual, but I'm gonna leave it at that.
for now. Real quick before I leave, I wanna tell you guys about a really amazing company that I actually reached out to and asked to partner up with. I wanna start partnering up with companies that I really believe in. This sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now is from a company called For Peace and Love. I found them on Instagram and automatically fell in love with their purpose. Their mission is to cultivate a community of people that communicate through love and peace and they just believe that all humans are created equal and they show that with their company by donating 5% of all proceeds to the human rights campaign. All of their clothes are created through sustainable and recyclable materials which is amazing because I'm also learning a lot about climate and the world and their company is doing a really great job by creating clothes that are made from recyclable and sustainable materials to help eliminate waste. That being said, they donate another 5% to an organization called Greenpeace. The mission of Greenpeace is to fight for greener, healthier oceans and forests and food, climate, and democracy no matter what stands in their way. Really, really amazing companies, so I highly, highly suggest you go check them out, if even just to go check out their mission and be inspired because people who create stuff like this are just my kind of people. They're who are going to change the world. Let's work together. Let's team up. So go check out their company. Their clothes are really awesome as well. There's a link in the description box below of this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week.